Lal, founded by Shehram Azhar and Tamur Rahman on the ideals of Faiz Ahmed Faiz and Habib Jalib, men who stood up for their fundamental rights through their writings against dictatorships in the history of this country. Umid e Sahar was the building of a connection through something universal, music. It was the step towards a movement that Lal seemed to want to take on. In divided times, where the engagement of an isolated youth in a political environment may well be the most necessary step, Lal are hoping to engage and entice young minds via their music and their activism. It will be interesting to see how far they go. Thank you so much, Samu, for being here with us on our show. Thank you. Uh, just to start off, what music did you grow up listening to? I grew up listening to a lot of music, including people like Bruce Springsteen, Tracy Chapman, Bob Marley, who remains one of my all-time favorites, um, Pink, a lot of Pink Floyd, um, a lot of U2, so a lot of Western music in that sense. But when I s sort of got into my teenage years uh, and went to college and so on, then I began to listen to a lot of Desi music as well, like uh, Nusrat Fateli Khan, uh, a lot of Bhangra music. Um, um, so and a lot of Kavali, Bhangra, and so on, and, and also folk music like Patani Khan and so on. So I grew up with more or less what one would call, you know, uh, world music. World music, yes, that's that's a very nice category, nice way of putting it. What motivates you to create music, using it as a tool for creating songs that inspire justice or that makes one think? Music was always a hobby. I entered academics. I began to teach at the Lahore School of Economics later at Lums. And uh, I would, though, take my guitar to my class. And I began to discover that it was very easy to um, get them to think about social issues if I played uh, songs that touched upon those issues. And this then developed into a sort of uh, uh, this collaboration with my students when I was at LAMS, developed into LAL. And when we connected that uh, music and poetry and literature and thought with the lawyers movement and the democratic movement in society then it became mainstream mainstream music. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. he uh, described the freedom songs this way that they invigorate the movement in a more significant way these freedom or motivational songs serve to give unity to a movement so how much do you agree with this statement? Bob Marley once said these songs of freedom this all I ever had, redemption songs. So these are so these songs of freedom, are the songs that redeem us, and um, so I completely agree with Martin Luther King, um, and I completely agree with Bob Marley. And if we didn't have these songs of freedom, then we would have nothing. What do you think is the role of uh, music in bringing change? I was in India recently. And the response that our, our songs and our performance got from the Indian uh, audience had to be seen to be believed. It just goes to show how much they can relate to us and we can relate to them through the medium of music. Of course, no one would say that change can only, will only come about through music. You need poetry, you need literature, you need political activism, you need organization, you need mobilization, you need you know, in, intellectual input, you need everything. Music is one of those things. फैज अहमद फैज का एक नया गाना आपको सुनाता हूँ अब क्यों उस दिन की फिक्र करो जब दिल टुकड़े हो जाएगा और सारे गम मिट जाएंगे जो कुछ पाया खो जाएगा जो मिल सका वो पाएंगे ये दिन तो वही पहला दिन है जो पहला दिन था चाहत का हम जिसकी तमन्ना करते रहे और जिससे हर दम डरते रहे ये दिन तो कितनी बार आया सौ बार मिले और उजड़ गए सौ बार मिले और फिर पाया जो होना है सो होना है कर हंसना है तो हंसना है कर रोना है तो रोना है तू अपनी करनी कर गुजरो जो गा देखा
देखा जाएगा तू अपनी गर्मी कर गुजरो जो होगा देखा जाएगा तू अपनी